Hi guys, welcome back to Around the Bend. Today we're going to be doing a nice little running session. Before the video starts, please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment. So, what have we got today? On the inner line, we've got Great Western HST. And on the outer line, we've got the Flying Scotsman. Let's set them off then. Let's let the Flying Scotsman set off first then. Here it's putting a Teak, a Crimson Cream BR Coach, and three Blood and Custard BR Coaches. And on the inner line, we have the Great Western HST. That's pulling a Great Western Green Mark III, two Maroon LMS coaches, and one Blood and Custard British Rail coach, because I don't actually have enough British Rail, uh, not British Rail, Great Western Mark III's. So, I need to get some more at some point, but I don't have any money. Let's have a look at them um, around the layout then. It's HST again. Overlooking the sidings, which I've recently just revamped today. Here's the Flying Scotsman. And HST again. Is a nice shot of the trains coming through the tunnel then. Today I've had to actually rip up all the track and relay it back down again, which was a very painful task. Here we have a crossover. So I actually had to rip up all the track today because I was getting lots of continuity problems. The trains would just stutter and stop on the track. So I thought I may as well just rip it up, hoover it so it's all nice and clean, relay it so it's also a lot more straight now because before it used to be really wonky. And I've also made some slight adjustments such as I adjusted the sidings as previously they looked a little bit different. Here's a look at the new sidings then. So we just have a small little one on the end, two medium ones, and then two large ones inside the engine shed. Then we also have a signal box. This just comes off the main line, right in front of the station. This is actually quite a good time to give you guys a tour of the layout, so you can see what it looks like. Here's the sofa I sit on with my controller there. And I've got the track going round. Goes round behind the table. Round through here into the station. It's a nice little footbridge. Got the station building, little crate that I've weathered. And with the garages and a little waiting post. There are the sidings, the water tank and a little whistle board. Another semaphore signal. Here Along we go, we have some more scenery. Uh, I've actually made this myself. Got the trees from Hornby, just sit holes in my hills and then just poking through. Uh, how I made these was I paper mache onto cardboard, then I painted it brown at the bottom, glued some stones on, painted it green, put some scatter on. And then, like I said before, poked holes through for the trees and stuck those in. We have some houses. We have some kit built houses, which are very good, and my mum thankfully made those for me. That engine shed is also kit built, as well as the station building and the signal box. Moving along, we have this tunnel which I also built. 
the same process as before. Very nice, I sharpied on the ends to make it look like rocks and dab some black paint to look like smoke. Here's some sort of rocks on the top, sort of like a Stonehenge type thing. Here's another valley, which I also did. Well, the Scotsman coming through the tunnel, and the Great Western HST. Let's get the stop bent and put something else on the line. So there's the Great Western HST just coming into shop. Let's wait for the Flying Scotsman to come around. Here she comes. And we could just bring it slowly and nicely into shot. There we go. Let's get something else back on the track then. Here we have the next set of trains then. So on the outer line, we have the Battle of Britain class. Let's set that off. So this is hauling a crimson and cream coach. Three blood and custard coaches, two LMS maroon coaches, and one blood and custard coach at the back. And on the inner line, we have the Hornby class 395 Javelin. Let's set that off then. It's very nice. Let's catch some shots of them going around the layout then. Here's the Javelin, and then here comes the Battle of Britain class. Seems to keep stopping. So I have to have a look at that and maybe clean the wheels. Here comes the faulty Battle of Britain class then. Not going to be surprised if it, yep, stops. Here's the Javelin. That actually runs much nicer. Or even runs at all. Actually, I think it was quite unfair for me to call the Battle of Britain class faulty. It just had really dirty wheels. Because I must have, have been running it quite a lot. But I just thought it would have been faulty because I only cleaned the wheels really recently. All right then, let's get these stopped here and get the next trains into shot. Here's the Battle of Britain class, and here comes the Javelin, just pulling into shot. Oh, that's a little bit fast. Let's get the next trains then. Here we are then with the final trains of the day. You may notice that the Hornby EWS class 66 wasn't in this. That's because I'm actually selling that, and hopefully I'm going to buy a, to be able to buy a Backman Class 66 instead, because it has way better features like more detail, more weight, all-wheel drive, and functional lights, which I think would be very good. Anyway then, let's get these trains set off. So on the inside line, we have the J15 with a nice little freight train. In the wagons they have some coal loads that I've made. I thought this whole video we've just been doing passenger trains so let's mix it up a bit. And on the outside line we have the Hornby Virgin Pendolino and the Alston livery. So that's going to be running around at 125 miles an hour. Let's get Shots of these on the layout then. Here's the Pendolino flying by the stations. Here's the Pendolino and then the J15 just coming past. I'm 
I'm struggling to choose what livery I want to get my class 66 in. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments down below. I want to get either the Freightliner Green version or the EWS Maroon. So let me know down in the comments. If you don't know what either of those are, just Google Class 66 EWS livery or Class 66 Freightliner Green livery. No promises on which one I'll get, whether or not I'll choose your comment. But it's probably going to be whatever I can get my hands on. That'll be it for today then guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. The next video will probably be a Flying Scotsman review. But no promises. Anyway, I'll see you next time.